I'm Holger. And he's Callum. And we're both studying marine biology in the University of Aberdeen. And we're here today to do a dissection on squid, so let's go do it. Let's do it. What inspired you to become a marine biologist? I spent a lot of time on the beach when I was very young and I was uh, inspired by what I saw in the water. Um, from a young age I got a very rudimentary mask and snorkel and I was fascinated by the creatures that lived under the sea. One of the, probably the biggest inspirations was like, do you know Steve Irwin on like the Discovery Channel, like Crocodile Hunter and like I always wanted to just work in the oceans. And, and I just wanted to find more about uh, what, was, what I was looking at essentially when I was underwater. Um, so that's, that's what inspired me to, to come and, and study marine biology. I was interested because, as I said, I had a background of art, so I didn't have a biology background. And Aberdeen's really keen on taking people um, who don't always have um, the background that most universities look for. The fact that we know very little about uh, what kind of wakes up a huge amount of planet, and we know less about it than the moon, I think that's really interesting. What do you think is the best thing about being a marine biologist? I was lucky enough one of the days uh, where I was alone with the animals uh, for the, 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 the group, the school of dolphins I was following to branch off in a small shallow bay and a mom giving birth there. So that's a very special thing. I was alone there. Being at sea is always great fun. Um, you get a really sense, a real sense of community in the boat and you just, it's just really great to get your hands dirty. We were looking at um, krill distributions under the sea ice, which nobody had done before. We had special instruments and special um, robotic submarines which we deployed underneath the sea ice and we were able to use sonar to detect uh, krill distribution underneath the ice. And I discovered um, six new species of fish when I was on a cruise down in sub-Antarctica. Um, we were trawling very, very deep, around 4,500 metres. Um, we brought a load of fish up that I couldn't identify, so I kept them back and when we got home I took them to some taxonomists, a specialist within the field, and we found out that they were new species. Where is the most interesting place you've ever worked? One of the um, opportunities with this job as marine biologist is that we do spend, to, we do get to travel a lot. Um, so a, a, a typical year for me would be going roughly twice around the world. I think the most interesting place I've ever worked is probably in Norway. Most exciting places I've been, I think, would, would have to be Fjordland in New Zealand. Um, one of the most exciting places I've been to has been um, the Crozet Islands, which are in the southern Indian Ocean. The most uh, fascinating piece of work was done in the Antarctic. Huge icebergs, killer whales, blue whales, loads of penguins, crab eater seals, you name it. It was just a, a live zoo. It was amazing. So I travelled a lot around the world uh, for my studies and, and for jobs afterwards. I decided to come back to Aberdeen. Um, I think it's the best place for the kind of work I do, it's the best place in Europe to be. Why did you choose to come here and study marine biology at the University of Aberdeen? I've read a lot about Aberdeen University having a really good marine biology program. So although there were other universities, I think Aberdeen was still the best choice. I've got some family up here, I've got roots up here, but it's also a very well acknowledged school for natural sciences. I think um, it's the proximity to the sea. It also had the ocean lab, which I had read more into it, and I'm like, okay, it sounds good. So I had a look at the website, looked at what they're working in, and Aberdeen University is one of the leading um, deep sea research universities, so that was very interesting. And one of the to come here. Can you tell me about your experience during the first lab session? It's, it's different when you're learning in the lecture, and it's different when you're actually doing what you've learned in the lecture and actually looking at the internal organs of the species that you're studying. You could tell it was a fish section because as soon as you walked in the doors, you could just smell fish. Um, and for that one, we were asked to sort of get, um, get out the heart and lungs. 
and do sort of go out weight, somatic weight, that kind of thing. I think it was the dogfish dissection because uh, I had done fish before and I had done the squid and the scampi and the zooplankton and all that kind of stuff. But when I looked at the dogfish, it was just different internal organs, different way it worked, and I just I liked it. Yeah. I have been abroad in second year, so I went to the University of British Columbia in Canada. And to be honest, my favorite lab section I had over there it was like an invertebrate course. I really enjoyed looking at the different verte uh, invertebrate taxa and um, cutting up squids. It's, it's for me, invertebrates are much more diverse as, for example, vertebrate um, species. So I enjoyed it much more looking at these different animals and just dissecting them and seeing how they're functioning in such a different way than we are actually functioning. It's really interesting. So how did you get into your international exchange in the first place? It's basically um, something that's organized from the university here itself. So you apply for it in first year, you can um, go to either North American universities, there's the University of Washington, um, University of British Columbia, the one I got to, um, different ones in Canada as well, or you can go to Asia. They look at your grades and your application, so you have like an interview, so basically how self-confident you are and how you're dealing with the situations and things and how much experience you have. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully you have enjoyed our lab sessions. We also hope you get a really good insight into what we do here at Aberdeen University and we hope that you choose to study. Next time we'll see you around campus.